song. It's, you know, it really is. God. Ah, you know, it's getting really hot in here. No, you don't. Ooh, that last little point. Maybe you're just so caught up in the friendship that you're like, it, it just never really comes to your mind yeah. to be more than friends. Because mm. it's like just become such a reality. Yeah. Because I genuinely yeah. feel like I've met people before and been friends with them, and like, you know, I mean, you never know who's the one, but like, you're like, oh, they could have actually been like a, a candidate. A potential. Per se. Yeah, like, and candidate kind of sounds like it's like a competition yeah. to like get you. It what does I mean, sound what I mean, it's like bad, a, but it's not. It, it could be someone. That's what I mean. Like Just it could like be the person. Yeah. Because I, I do genuinely believe there's a person for everyone. I think you can have. You have to. That was another thing. Similar personality, but not like you don't have to be similar person. I think that's you can be individual. You can like different things. But when it comes to personality, that's really like important that that lines up. Because mm. um, like me being like an independent person, I'm not. I don't like to be reliant on other people. I don't like to be like reliant on like popularity I guess like to like other people's attention I guess because that's basically what um, popular popularity is it's just being being relying reliant on other people's attention mm. and so I really like I obviously I do it I'm human like I like attention but at the same time like I don't like the feeling of that's where like my joy comes from mm. it's like other people so like as a as my personality is very like individual um, and I think people often think that means you can't like be in a relationship if you're independent because like you know you can't rely on them but I think if you find someone who's also an independent person you don't have to like rely because like there's relationships where like people other person like relies on you so much that they're constantly like uh, getting annoyed if you don't text them back or if you don't hang out I think you can be independent meaning that like you could spend like in, uh, forever with them but also you know that you have separate lives yeah um, like people who would get upset about like not seeing you for three days or whatever not yeah. talking to you for three days I just think that's kind of petty and I think if you see that if you see things like that before even entering a relationship yeah. then it's just a complete like turn off sign in my opinion because it's like when you see stuff like that, if they're not, if you're not even dating, and they're just like, hey, 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 like, what's up, what, you know, like, but it's then, like people who get upset by being left on red or whatever. Yeah. That kind of bothers me, is because I sometimes I'll read it and I'm like, okay, I don't really have a response for this. Yeah. And so, and then I should just forget to respond to it. And that's yeah. why, that's why dependent people fit with dependent people. Yeah. Because they, um, you know, they're both depend very much dependent on the other person that they like you know, always willing to text back. And I think there's also levels to it. I mean, you can be, both be independent, but then you may be independent on a much new level to them. To the point where they're still having trouble because they're still kind of reliant on mm. It's not like just the strict, like if you're independent, you definitely fit with an independent person. Mm. Yeah, yes. well, it's also just like, I think people kind of um, confuse it. I, well, because there's a little bit of a separation. When you're dating, there's a... There's... I think it's in preparation for you to be... Like, when you get married, there is a little bit... out Not a little bit, a lot more of a commitment to that person. And you're yeah. going to be spending the majority of your time with that person. 
Um, and so, yeah, in that sense, like, it's okay. Obviously, you have to have communication and stuff. But with dating, I think, especially in the way that sometimes we treat it, it's like, hey, like, we need to talk, like, every day, every second, or things are bad. And it's like, well, I don't know about that. Like, I could... Be, I could have a day with one of my friends and we're hanging out the whole day. I don't need to be neglecting them, talking. I, I feel like, you know, like having yeah. your own life outside of that person is technically yeah. important still. And I also feel like independent people, like me, myself, I find that very important to take in my family and my friends. I feel like sometimes yeah. independent people become so independent with their partner that they kind of forget about those. Yeah. So like every day and then when they like break up, like they're destroyed. I mean, I think it's it's dangerous almost to be that dependent. Um, and I guess like, so I guess it's not necessarily a personality maybe. Maybe it's more like, because um, I think it has something to do with your personality, but maybe I think you can change how dependent you are over time. Because like, I don't think everybody's like always going to need to like see the other person all the time. I think in I think there is a point in a relationship where you do need to spend a lot of time with a person, especially like if you're getting close to that point where like you want to propose or whatever. I think that I've noticed in the relationships I've seen that are successful or that work out like that. I think it's always been important, like the closer you get, yeah. to have more. Like it's not. The thing is, is if every day that you were talking was all deep conversation, it might be different. Yeah. But a lot of conversation at the end of the day is just like, oh, look at this. Like, oh, I saw, I don't know, just a random example. Oh, I saw Jake at the um, coffee place the other day. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so, it's so funny. <laughs> what? Like, there's nothing that that doesn't, you know, you don't need to be talking. If you say that to me and I don't respond to you and you're angry about that, then yeah, that's, I'm sorry about that. Like if it's like, they're like, hey, um, you, uh, you killed my dad, then you might want to like reply to them and yeah. explain why. You might want to say, you know, your dad tried to kill me first. It's self-defense, yeah. self-defense. And instead of just ignoring them, leaving example. them on red, and they're like, why'd you leave me on red? And just be like, well, I just... Well, no, you did I was just, just hanging with my me, friends. You know? Gosh, gosh! Like, just, back off! <laughs> Why do I need to explain everything to you? Gosh! You're, you're just playing some Call of Duty, bro. Yeah, and then just be like, "This is why we gotta break up. You're too dependent yeah. on me. You gotta ask me about everything. You know, freaking. I can just kill anyone I want. Why do I have to explain to you? I'm an independent person. Yeah, but they're also. <laughs> 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 um, there is a level. <laughs> like, I, I, I do want to like clarify, like, even though we're saying it's important to be independent, yeah. independence is a very important thing. Because well, you, when you get married, you are becoming dependent on that person, whether you like it or not. Yeah. And you have to depend on them for a lot of things. And especially just like in, in the depth of a relationship, like dependence is a huge thing. Yeah. But it's, it's just the over, I think it's more so like this topic more so applies to dating, I think, than marriage, because marriage is a very serious thing, whereas dating, you know, it should be a serious thing, in a, you know, in a way, but I think it's like, it, you're looking at two very different things. Like, yeah. with dating, I think this more so applies the younger you are when you're dating, even though I've seen a lot of adults do it, dependent on someone, it's just sad, um, but, I think the younger you are, like, people just have this tendency to be like, oh, I need you to affirm my insecurity, or I need you to affirm this. Like, that's not something that you should be worried about. And that's, that's dangerous almost because you miss out on, you know, friendships mm -hmm. and spend, time spent with family. Because when you get married, like, I don't want to make it sound like a bad thing, but really, you're going to lose a lot of friendships. And I don't mean like in a bad way. It, I just mean like you're not going to have time for that. It's anymore. not going to be the same thing where it's like, oh, I yeah. hung out with Isaac like three days a week that one, you know, a That's not going to happen. That's you know? not. It will be one, like you, once a month for like lunch. Yeah, you have, you have, you're going to have work. You're going to have, I don't know, you know, what situations you're going to have. You're yeah. probably only going to be able to hang out with your friends on the weekend. And you're not even always going to do that. And then before you know it, you have kids. Even worse. <laughs> but don't get me, don't get us wrong, I mean, 
my parents, personally, they are like the happiest people and they have six children. And I, I mean, they don't have time for anything else. Yeah. But it's more like when you become so dedicated to someone, I think there's a time and a place for that, but you should really enjoy your teenage life and your early adulthood as a more independent person. You can be in relationships, there's nothing wrong with that, but like more like you still need to spend time with friends and stuff because yeah, once you get married, like uh, it's not a bad thing, you know, you're going to really enjoy it. Just to add on to this, the people in happy marriages would um, tell you that they would not like anything else than to be with their wife or husband and with their kids if they have any. That's the best thing they could possibly be in. But the reason we give you this advice is so you can be part of that smaller, sadly, percentage of people who are actually truly happy in the marriage rather than the, the marriages that are just difficult or that don't work. Because if you date someone in your teens and you're just not thinking about it and you become incredibly dependent on them, you may end up in one of those marriages where it's just that dependence that keeps you in it. It's not love. It's not, you know, really l wanting to be with them. It's just you can't be with anyone else because you're so independent. That's why I say all this stuff about being independent when you're dating. I think it's so important. But I just had to add that in real quick. Enjoy it. It's, it's, great. it's a person. great thing. It's incredible. I mean, it's like the best place to be, but you're going to want to look back and think, you know, I did really enjoy my childhood before this, like yeah. in my early adulthood. Yeah. And I think also that's why you have to think about who you're marrying as well. Yeah. Because yeah, that person should be your friend. I like it's kinda hard to explain. Like I understand that when people get friend zone, but at the same time, like that person that you're marrying, it should be your friend because yeah. you're gonna be spending if you, if you can't stand if you're you're not if you only like that person because they're like like, oh yeah, they're cute or um, pretty or whatever and and this is why I'm with them and then you realize like into the marriage like there's nothing else that's holding us together other than the fact that we were kind of riding the thrill of young love yeah. kind of thing. Sometimes in arguments I feel like we have a problem of holding stuff against another person that we let out anger that's not even related to the topic that the argument is about. Like, you, 
you let out past experiences and stuff that you've had with the person that you just never told them and I think that's like so dangerous because you can end up arguing so much that you even forget what the topic is about like there's nothing to argue about but yet you make up words and uh, there's actually a C.S. Lewis quote that I really like it's from uh, the book Paralandra and uh, basically this guy's talking with this lady and she's like the height of innocence like she's completely perfect never done anything wrong she knows no wrong and she they're, they're kind of debating and um, the guy I can't remember what he says but the he just kind of wants to keep the argument going he gets annoyed at her and she says you had nothing to say but yet you found words to fill it and I just thought that was really interesting because that I feel like we do that a lot we just find words to fill arguments that just are completely unnecessary but we just want to carry on hurting the other person yeah it gets too much emotion yeah and I'd also say to go along with that I think that those kind of arguments that we have with those people I think that's a testament of the bond you share with them specifically because you know you can't I feel like it's a hard time it's hard to um it's hard to really get emotionally upset with someone unless you have those feelings for them. Yeah. Um, because if you know, if, if they didn't mean anything to you, what they say couldn't hurt you, or exactly you know, what they did couldn't attack you. And so I think that's a testament of those things, and I think there's an irony to that because it's the people that we love most that can hurt us the most, so that we're most vulnerable with. Yeah, and I feel like. You know, you're so right. Like, if someone came up to me off the street and was like, you know, you took like the last, you know, you're at grocery store, you take the last pumpkin. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna be like, you're a selfish person, but they don't know you well. They don't know your actual personality. They're just saying that over one judgment. That's not gonna affect me at all. I mean, I might be like, well, what a crappy person. It's just a freaking pumpkin. But the thing is, like, how is that gonna affect you? Because you know that the o there's only one thing that's made them say that. While if one of you guys said I was a selfish person, I'd be like, they've known me for four years. They've seen me go through many things and over all that time, they've come up with that judgment that I'm a selfish person. I'm gonna take like offense to that because there's so much more built up. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think, you know, just, just as much as a simple kind of disapproval that someone has over a decision you make, yeah. I think even sometimes, that is necessary because because you trust those people so much and you love them that it, it does hurt. I think even if you think they're right, it's gonna hurt. What they say. So for instance, if someone were to say, "I have a selfish person," and it's true, and I know it's true, um, but they're close, it's gonna hurt as much. And yeah. I think it's just up to you to make the decision of whether or not you're gonna let that kind of thing affect your friendship or just make it stronger. Exactly. something yeah why do nice people choose the wrong people to date we accept the love we think we deserve can we make them know that they deserve more we can try guys <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching that video we had a lot of fun filming it yeah um, thanks to uh, Andrew for driving <laughs> and uh, all of us we worked together on the shots and we thought it came out really nice yeah so yeah. Uh, go hit that like button uh, and subscribe. I, think, the bell. I think it was cool that like we could make this video but in and of itself we were making like memories doing it yeah like, yeah exactly get this yeah it's yeah good Affirmative. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching us. See you in the next video and uh, bye. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs>